Let us evaluate the integral minus pi to pi 2x into 1 plus sine x by 1 plus cos squared x dx. Uh, it's a bit complicated, so let's break it into sum of two integral. Minus pi to pi 2x divided by 1 plus cos square x dx plus integral minus pi to pi 2x into sine x divided by 1 plus cos square x dx. Now, we know uh, something like even function and odd function. f is even. So, let's write this integral as i first of all. We want to compute i. That's the integral we want to compute. Now, we know something called even and odd function. f is even is even if f of minus x equal to fx. If a function is even then or odd, then this integral becomes quite easier to compute. Let's see whether they are even or odd. Similarly, f is odd if f of minus x equal to minus of fx. Let's see. Let f equal to 2x by 1 plus cos square x. Then f of minus x equal to 2 into minus x divided 1 plus cos square of minus x. Uh, that can be written as minus 2x divided by 1 plus cos square x because cos of minus theta is same as cos theta. That you can see that that is equal to uh, minus of fx. So you can see that f is odd. Now we know that if a function is odd then minus a to a integral of any odd function is zero. So this integral is simply zero. Therefore, i equal to, if this is 0, you are left at only this one. So, let's write it. i equal to integral minus pi to pi 2x sine x divided by 1 plus cos square x. 2x sine x divided by 1 plus cos square x. So we have simplified a bit. What we have done is we have just removed this quantity 1. Yeah, that's it. But it helps. Let's see how. Now again let, let we take another function f equal to 2x sine x divided by 1 plus cos square x. Is this even or odd? f of minus x equal to 2 into minus x sine of minus x divided by 1 plus cos square of minus x. Now you see that sine of minus theta is minus sine theta and minus minus is plus. So this is 2x sine x divided by 1 plus cos square x. So we can see that, therefore, f of minus x is exactly equal to fx. Therefore, f is even. Now, what's the advantage of even function? In case of even, we know that minus a to a, even function dx, equal to 2 times 0 to a, that even function, dx. Let's do that here. This function, as we have seen just now, is even. So i equal to 2 times 0 to a, 0 to pi, a is pi here, 
टू एक्स साइन एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस कॉस स्क्वेर एक्स नेक्स्ट Now we know another property of integral that says zero to a f x d x equal to zero to a f of a minus x d x. What is happening here is that we can replace by x by a minus x. And the integral remains unchanged. Let's apply that result here. So i equal to two times zero to pi. Two times you replace x by pi minus x. You replace x by pi minus x. Rest of the expression remains as it is. Sine of replace x by pi minus x. One plus cos square replace x by pi minus x. So that's equal to two times zero to pi, uh, two times pi minus x, sine one eighty degree minus theta is sine theta, cos one eighty minus theta is minus cos theta. But you have a square, so this is cos square x dx. Now what will happen if we Add this two. This one is i, and this one is also i. So if we add those two, you get two i equal to two remains common. Zero to pi remains common. Let's say denominator remains same. One plus cos square x. What about numerator? Two x sine x. Plus two pi sine x minus x sine x. You see that oh minus two x sine x. You see that you can cancel two x sine x. So two i equal to two into two zero to pi. Uh, pi also I can take common sine x by one plus cos square x dx. Now we can integrate it easily, so we can cancel two out. So i equal to two pi into uh, derivative of cos x is minus sine x, so minus one into ten inverse of cos x. Zero to pi. One seven. The derivative of cos x is minus sine x. So d of min. Sorry, minus of d of cos x, and integral of one by u square du is ten inverse of u. So i equal to minus two pi, ten inverse of cos of pi minus ten inverse of cos of zero. So i equal to minus two pi. Cos pi is minus one. Ten inverse of minus one is minus pi by four. Cos zero is one. Ten inverse of one is pi by four. So i equal to minus two pi into. Uh, if you add it, minus pi by two, and that gets cancelled, and you are left out with simply pi square. 